Quick question before we get started. Look at this image and tell me how many boxes do you see? If you answered 9, you're a lot like everybody else, but it's wrong. Now, how many triangles are in the Triforce? Keep this question in mind because it'll make sense later. Hey guys, it's Cybertech Werewolf here, and today I will be taking a look at a theory that's older than me, but also one that has been dead for quite a while, the Tetraforce theory. This is a theory stemming all the way back during the age of the Nintendo 64, after the creation of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Speculation started after people had noticed the Hylian Shield's design. Ocarina of Time was the catalyst of much of the lore of the Zelda franchise before Nintendo had released Hyrule Historia. So because of that, people began connecting dots between the story the game had gave us and the interesting design of the Hylian Shield. On it, we see the typical design of the Triforce, and below that, the design of the Loftwing. But just below that, there's an inverted triangle that perfectly fits in the center of the Triforce above the Loftwing. Now, that alone was enough to spark the interest of many theorists, but they didn't stop there. They not only believed that a fourth piece existed, but they believed they knew what it represented and which deity may have created it. For those of you who don't know the history of Hyrule, allow me to explain. Because of the chaos in the world, three golden goddesses came and created the world we now know as Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power, created the earth. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom, created the law of the land. And Feror, the goddess of courage, created the life that would obey those laws. As they departed, they left behind a powerful relic known as the Triforce, each piece representing the goddesses, courage, wisdom, and power. The relic was so powerful that anyone who wished to use it must show a balance between the three pieces. Whoever does can shape the world in the image of their heart. Now, this story alone throws a monkey wrench into the Tetraforce theory. Because, if a fourth piece existed, where did it go? Who is the holder of this piece, and which deity created it? Some Tetraforce theorists have some ideas. Many pointed out that there are plenty of Zelda games that use the theme of four, despite the fact that there are only three Triforce pieces, each of them also represented with a color that corresponds with the goddess that made it. Power with red, wisdom with blue, and courage with green. All games that have these colors are accompanied by a fourth color, purple. In Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time's direct sequel, there are four lands, each with their own great fairy, and there are four giants. Each great fairy is represented by a Triforce piece, except for the one in Iconic Canyon. The lands themselves are represented by the colors red, green, blue, and purple. In Ocarina of Time, you need the three spiritual stones and the Ocarina of Time itself to open the Sacred Realm. Meaning, in order to open the Sacred Realm, you need to use four relics. In The Legend of Zelda the Four Swords, Link's four tunics are red, green, blue, and purple. And in the Minish Cap, which is Four of Swords' direct sequel, the four elements that are used to make the Four Swords are also the same way. In Twilight Princess, we had four light spirits. Though not all are directly associated with a color, three of them are named after the goddesses. Ordana being the only one not named after one. At least not one that we know of. Elden is named after Din, Lanayru after Nehru, and Faron named after Furor. In A Link Between Worlds, Link stumbles upon a parallel world called Lowru with their own Triforce, but it is upside down and black. Each person there has a parallel version of themselves, like Hilda and Ravia, the alternate Zelda and Link, who wear purple clothing. And even in the most recent game, Breath of the Wild, we have a few things. Most notably, we have the four divine beasts, and you can have each one associated with one of the four colors. And there is even four springs. Three are the most accessible, those being the springs of courage, wisdom, and power. However, there is a fourth hidden spring in a place appropriately named the Forgotten Temple. Close by each of the springs, there is a shrine, and as we know, inside each shrine is a mummified Sheikah. However, there is something special with the Sheikah inside the spring shrines. They are shown making a triangle sign with their hands in separate positions meant to represent each piece of the trifles. But in the Forgotten Temple spring, we see the Sheikah making an inverted triangle sign. So with all this, what would this fourth piece represent, and who made it if it exists? Many say it could represent a few different things. Some say light, some say time, but I think it most appropriately represents darkness or shadows. With this fourth color being purple, it would only make sense. Also, if you look at the difference between the light and shadow medallions from Ocarina of Time, it also seems to fit the bill. The two medallions share a similar design, like the three spheres surrounding the three triangles on the light medallion, but on the shadow medallion, it has three spheres surrounding a singular inverted triangle. If we are to believe that this fourth piece exists, it could explain the existence of the dark interlopers from Twilight Princess. It could also explain the appearance of Dark and Shadow Link shown throughout the games, games like Zelda II, Ocarina of Time, and Four Swords. People also believe that Hylia, the goddess of time, was the fourth goddess that represents this piece. 
However, she gave up her divinity to become the mortal Zelda. Others, like myself, believe that the fierce deity was this divine being. He is referred to as a deity, and on his armor, there is one golden triangle on his chest plate. And, thanks to his dark origins, it could all make sense to have him be this divine being. Now, this is all well and good. However, this theory was debunked later by Nintendo itself, with them saying that there is no fourth piece. Now, I could believe that Nintendo would do this, although I couldn't find any official statement on this, just reiterations of others saying that it happened. So why would I waste you guys' time with a debunked theory? Well, because I have a theory of my own. Remember that question from the beginning of the video? I asked you how many boxes you saw in this image. Now you could say 9, and that's true if you just count the small boxes. However, there are also 4 big boxes made up of a cluster of small boxes in the center. Then there's the bigger box that makes up the entire image, making 14. Now look at the Triforce again. How many triangles do you see? You could say 3 pieces, but there are actually 5. There are 3 pieces that make up the Triforce, the missing piece in the middle, and then the entire Triforce itself that makes up a triangle, making 5. So why would I ask you this? It's because I believe Nintendo. No physical fourth piece of the Triforce exists. Keyword being physical piece. I believe that the missing piece in the center makes up a symbolic fourth piece. The absence of a piece, if you will. Refer back to the Shadow Medallion. It has an inverted triangle and is represented by Shadow. I think that when the Triforce is whole, the missing piece represents darkness and perhaps is the reason the Fierce Deity is there at all. Maybe the Fierce Deity itself is an incarnation of Link. See how he looks and sounds exactly like Adult Link from Ocarina of Time? characters even look very similar. The reason for that is a theory for another day. However, there are too many things that point to this theory for it to not have some relevance. So many things that we've been shown throughout the series would make so much sense if a symbolic fourth piece existed. Even the artwork in Four Swords that have the three links that represent red, blue, and green are facing us, but this fourth purple link is facing away from us. Even the Twilight Realm could help be explained if this theory is true. It is a world of pure darkness, hidden away from our world of light that we traverse through in these games. Does a physical fourth piece exist? I don't think it does. But perhaps the absence of the fourth piece could help explain the details we found for the past 23 years. It may not physically exist, but maybe it's still there, hidden in the shadows. But that begs the question, what was this fourth triangle on the shield? Perhaps it was the Light Force, another relic introduced during the Minish Cap. However, there was a six year gap between the Minish Cap and Ocarina of Time. So, did Nintendo think that far ahead? Perhaps they did. I mean, there was a 14 year gap between Ocarina of Time and Skyward Sword. And in Skyward Sword, it explained what the red bird was on the shield, that being the loft wings, which we've seen in Skyward Sword. So who really knows? But the triangle was removed in later installments of Zelda, perhaps to get rid of the confusion between the Light Force and the Triforce. But what do you guys think? Are there any details I'm missing from this theory? Did you guys enjoy? Let me all your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Until next time guys, stay hype, stay awesome, stay weird, and be nice to each other. Cybertech World, signing off.